Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Here we are at Sky Chase. Normally, I'm pretty good at this zone. It's a one-act zone. Easily one of the easiest in the game, though I did actually die. <laughs> Luckily, you don't see that death, because I edited it out. You're pretty much just on the tornado the entire time. Dumping, getting rings, taking care of those... Those badniks with the helicopters on them, the mini turtles and the bigger turtles that try to shoot little beams at you. And, of course, there's those... those jet things. I believe... well, in my opinion, their... their successor eventually arrived in the game Sonic Heroes. They most commonly appeared in the... Robot Storm boss stage. But this is not a Sonic Heroes playthrough, this is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm gonna be recording both this and Part 8 in the same day. I feel like I can get more... I can be more ahead that way. Just with the new schedule on Tuesdays and Thursdays and all, I want to keep that up. We are coming up to Wing Fortress Zone, which we are not finishing in this part, because... I kind of regretfully admit this, but I did have to use safe states both there and at Death Egg. I edited out the ones in Wing Fortress so that it looks more coherent, I guess, cohesive. But the ones in Death Egg, ones during the final attempt of the boss itself, I can really edit around, so you're going to be seeing those in Part 8. If it's any consolation, right after... Since I didn't really feel validated, I did return to Death Egg afterwards via the level select, and I did beat the, the final boss legitimately, so if that makes you feel any better. And now the life count is back to three, impl you know, implying that I didn't really do so good in my first few attempts on this, or this stage. Because there are a couple bullshit parts. And there's a shortcut that I fail... I fail to realize at first. I mean, I knew the shortcut was there, I just didn't really remember where it was. I end up skipping the shortcut, and we're taking the long way. Sorry for that shield compression issue. It's just... YouTube's doing. Failing at jumping. Yeah, this is a pretty dangerous zone. You got those chicken badniks, which are the only real badniks in the level. But other than that, the only the real issue in this zone is the platforming. I get like Sky Chase. It is one act, but you're gonna want to be really careful here because there's lots of bottomless pits. But they're done correctly. They're done the right way, unlike when. Dimps usually puts in bottomless pits. They're usually constant, and you can't really have fun with them. Looks at Sky Canyon from Sonic Advance 2. Invincibility, yeah. I decided to leave- despite this being a fail- this take right here, this life being a failure, I'm keeping it in because I- I discovered some power-ups in a really odd spot, like right here rings right there. You, you can't even stand where they were. They were just hanging up there in the, in the middle of nowhere. Not even on anything. But it's nice to... It's always nice to get hidden, pow hidden rings. I apologize for that background issue, but as far as I know, that's the last one we've seen. The Death Egg didn't really have any problems. Ask me the real. Yeah, we're coming up to the real bullshit part right here. Not this. This is pretty easy, even though I missed both those last two holdings. On the right here, these platforms. You really want to time your jumps with these, because if you're not careful, you will die like I do. 
Unfortunately, though, you're not going to be seeing me try to get back to him every time because I cut past that. Because nobody wants to go through redundant crap. Me especially. You're seeing the deaths, but you're not seeing the track back. Because I'm nice like that, and... Remember, failure is not an option. You want to wait until right after that first platform comes out. And you can jump along him, but be quick about it. This goes on for like a good 10 seconds. This right here is the real BS part. I still don't know exactly how to get past that without dying. What will I do? I know how to just run past it, but I don't know how to I don't know how to get the dash thing. The thing that propels me forward? I don't know how to get that to work without dying. I am about to take the shortcut that I mentioned before. You just get hit by the propeller and use your invincibility frames to walk through, and you pretty much skip half the level. It's a pretty handy shortcut, if you ask me. I didn't always know about that. I didn't really, didn't really find it out until a while ago. Apparently, I still have not learned at this point. And... Oh yeah, this is my last death. I paused there because I thought pausing would save me, despite it not. <laughs> anyway, this was a pretty short part. But I will see you next time when we actually finish Wing Fortress. And we get to Death Egg and then finish the game for reals. I will see you next time.